so we're home and my mom is out of surgery and she has one of these things uh, that she has to like suck to uh, make sure her lung function is good. She wasn't trying to be funny at all, but she accidentally asked the nurse for her blow job. Hey people, so I'm in my mom's kitchen boiling stuff to use to sanitize her drains. I just emptied and measured stuff, which was way fun and a throwback to uh, what I did 16 years ago when she had drains for her breast cancer. Anyway, um, I have been reading Ordinary Monsters today. I'm only this far in, um, but anyway, it's pretty good so far. Basically, it is about, hang on, hang on. Basically, it's about all these children who just happen to be orphans and happen to have magical powers who are being kidnapped, it appears. Um, to be taken to a special place where they seem to be being studied or something. It seems kind of ominous and not the best situation, but who knows? It's kind of like, I don't know, magical, gothic-y, but not just like a touch of gothic, kind of steampunky. I don't know. I really like it so far. It's like 11. I've been up since like 5.15. I have to take my mom to the emergency room now because she's having a bit of a complication. So, there's that. Hey guys, quick update on my mom. Basically, uh, she went to the ER last night. She couldn't pee after surgery. She has a catheter, all is good. She was nervous she would have to have one where she would have to put it in herself every day. And it's just one that is temporarily in there for a while. So just living the dream life with an extra drain of some sort. Um, anyway, <laughs> today I'm going to a family reunion. Um, I am running late because I felt that sleep was more important since we didn't get home until 2 a.m. So, and the previous day I was up at 5 a.m. for surgery. So anyway, it was like 5 a.m. until 2 a.m. the next day that I was awake with my mom. But anyway, so I slept in, um, got ready, took her dog out, emptied her drains, did like all the things, and now I'm heading to a family reunion for a little bit, which is my favorite event in the summer, so I'm so glad that my mom is still encouraging me to go and like not like upset that I'm leaving her for a hot second. Um, and then I'm gonna quickly go back to Muskegon because I have packages and I wanna pick up my cat because I think I might be staying with my mom a bit longer. One of my cats is pretty independent, the other is pretty clingy and I just don't wanna leave her for so long when I've already left her so many times this entire summer. I feel like I'm home for like two or three days and then I leave again. So that is the plan for today and hopefully more reading at the end of the day. So Emmy and I are just on a quick little walk. Um, I will be staying with my mom for the next couple days because I think she needs a bit more attention, uh, but hoping to get loads of reading done. My aunt's coming today at one, so that'll be fun to hang out with her as well and like be taking care of my mom, but also have someone um, in addition to hang out with. So hopefully I, I remember to take the label off for the price tag. Well, it's pretty well sealed in there. Well, that's not the best. We got a cat here too. I see that. Yeah, loungewear. Okay, I've not made much progress with my book, but I have been very busy. Ooh, my cat is getting out. Hang on. 
so I'm only on page 186 um but I just am really liking this book it feels Harry Potter-ish in just like the language like the old school England spectacles and that sort of language that's just like really cozy and comforting very magical um but not much else has happened so far so just still reading I think maybe this book is much longer than it needs to be but at the same time I am enjoying just like the cozy language of it even when not much is going on okay one perk of having a sick mama is that people bring you food hey okay this is a really weird angle but I don't have like a tripod or anything at my parents house I didn't bring it with me Anyway, I finished um, this beast of a book, Ordinary Monsters, and basically, let me tell you the plot and then what I thought of it. So, the basic plot is that at the beginning of the story, we're introduced to this one boy named Marlo, and um, at the beginning of the story, he is basically a baby, and he's found, like, in the arms of his dead mom or that's who we think it is at the beginning um and he is rescued by someone else and kind of follows him in his early childhood um with various women uh mother figures taking care of him and it becomes evident quite early on that there's something magical about him um and then as the story goes on we flip-flop between a few other characters who basically are like him they're all orphans and they're all magical um, and basically these people are trying to take them and like you're just not really sure about the situation if they're taking them to take care of them or if they're kidnapping them uh, to bring them to like the school sort of place, um, school, hospital sort of a situation and you're just not really sure like, you know the motivations I guess and I would say that is a big part of this book is that you're never really sure like who's good who's bad anyway um then after 300 pages you finally get to the institute uh or I guess that's what I call it in my head just because it does remind me of Stephen King's the institute with like magical children and all this sort of thing um and then things get crazy and then the rest of the book flew by, basically. So, um, yeah, there's, like, bad guys that are after them and all this sort of stuff. Anyway, um, I felt the vibe was very, like, steampunky. Uh, it reminded me of, like, a mix between Harry Potter and The Institute by Stephen King. And basically, like, the whole, like, atmosphere of the book, the word choices, like, I just loved it, like being in this sort of Harry Potter steampunky sort of environment where spectacles were mentioned and fine candles and I don't know, just like I loved it, right? The atmosphere I loved. Um, it was very dark and grim at parts and very descriptive and very like, you know, like in Harry Potter, like the battle scene that's like at the end of every book, like there was a few battle scenes in here uh, that got pretty intense like that. So I definitely love that. I feel like it could have been a lot shorter than 700 pages or 650. I think it's 650. Um, just like it took them 300 pages to even get to the Institute. Like that could have been chopped down quite a bit, I felt like. And I kind of felt like the book was a little bit all over the place. Um, but... At the same time, I kind of did love it. So I don't really know what to give it. Like maybe like three and a half stars. Like I definitely think like Sarah from Your True Shelf might be interested in this. But again, because it's not five stars, I'm not like, oh my gosh, you need to read this. Um, it did remind me a little bit of like Holopox and or whatever those books are. The Nevermore books. Um so yeah, I guess I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it. There's so much that I loved, but so much that was just kind of like, eh, that could have been done better. Um, one cool thing was this book kind of took place all over the world. So there are parts that were in the United States. There was a whole bunch of it in the UK and in Scotland and, you know, 
that sort of area. Um, and then they were in Japan for a little bit as well. Um, so that part was cool. The characters were really cool. And the whole like magical child sort of thing was super cool. They actually called them talents um, instead of like, I don't know, magical skills or anything like that. So yeah, I think I'm going to need more time to figure out like who I should recommend this to because I really liked it, but it just was not perfect. Um, but I am wondering um, about the next book because I am quite certain there will be another book. I haven't looked into it, but I'm sure there's got to be. I also think this would be an amazing movie. So yeah, I only have two more books from McLean and Egan that I haven't read yet. And so I will have to get to them soon. I'm not sure how much longer I will keep this vlog going because I think I will be going home tomorrow. My mom has one last appointment, hopefully tomorrow. And then she seems to be feeling a lot better. So I think that she will be kind of managing herself. Um, but thank you guys so much for those of you that have messaged me, like the most loving questions about my mom, how she's doing, stuff like that. Like that means so much to me, but also meant so much to her. Like I would tell her like, hey, this person reached out and asked how you were. And she was like, oh, that's so sweet. And then I like pulled up their channel to like show like, hey, this is the person that said that. Or if it was on Instagram, I would be like, hey, this is the person. Here's some of their pictures, whatever. So thank you guys so, so much. Um, I will see you guys later.